what if your customer service AI agent could learn from your human support agents and get smarter with each response, allowing you to scale your workflows with relevant responses without sacrificing speed. Hey everyone, Sterling here. Today we're diving into building an AI agent for customer service that learns recursively. This agentic workflow combines Zendesk, a Pinecone vector database, and Postman Flow's newly released Flow Actions feature. The magic here is that our agent doesn't just answer questions it knows. It learns from human agents when it doesn't know the answer. Every agent interaction becomes training data that makes the system more capable. Let's see this in action first, and then I'll break down how we built it. Okay, let's see how this works in practice. On the left side here, I've got my Zendesk open with, as you can see, no tickets. And on the right side, I've got my Pinecone database, and it shows that I can confidently answer one question. How do I reset my password? Let's send ourselves an email asking us, how do we reset our password? All right, I'm gonna look over, I'm gonna refresh. Oh, we've got one unsolved ticket. And let's dig in. We have, how do I reset my password? And our AI support agent was able to answer that for us. To reset your password, and it gave us the answer, best regards, your helpful AI support agent. This is all running in flows, by the way. So I'm gonna mark this as solved. Cool. Now, let's see how the, our agent responds when it doesn't have an answer to the question. All right, so we've got one ticket that's come in, and it is, how do I restore a lost file? Now, our AI agent is gonna automatically respond with, hey, thank you for reaching out. I understand the issue is important to you. I'm not able to answer it for you. So in this case, our agentic workflow has actually notified one of our support agents and our support agent will come in and answer the question. In this case, we're gonna use me. All right, let's answer this. And we're gonna submit. All right, so hello. To search for your lost files, make sure you know that it's not in your recently deleted folder. Make sure that it's in the correct account and check the history logs. All right, this is gonna solve it for our customer. So we'll send ourselves a reply. Okay, we just got a reply from ourselves say, oh my gosh, that worked, thank you so much. Now, as a customer support agent, I can go in and close this. So I'll close this as solved. All right, the ticket's been solved. Now, if I go to my vector database, our agentic workflow is gonna say, this is solved, here are the steps. Let's see how this works. Now when we looked in our vector database, we have a new answer. How do we restore a lost file? To search for your lost file, make sure it's not a recently deleted folder. We've got the answer. This is the best part. All right, let's try this again. And I'm gonna ask myself, or I'm gonna ask the customer service, how do I restore a lost file? We've got a new ticket. And the question is, restore lost file. We're gonna open it. And what we expect to see is, to restore a lost file, follow these steps and it was able to respond with those same steps that we gave. This is how an agent recursively learns. Let's go dig into the actual flow and show you how we built it. Now let's break down how we built this system in Postman Flows. At its core, this flow is a webhook that Zendesk triggers a flow action. When a ticket comes in, the flow checks two conditions. If it's a new ticket, it tries to answer it using our customer support agent. If it's a status update to solved, meaning the human agent has provided a good answer, it captures that knowledge. Let's dig into the customer support agent. We've already built this flow and we've turned this into an agentic workflow. So you, there's no need to go back through this. You can go back and watch my previous videos. But in essence, what this flow is doing is it's getting the ticket ID. It's using that ticket ID to check if we have an answer in our vector database. If we do, then we have an autonomous agent that responds. If we don't, and the vector database doesn't have an answer, we notify the human via Slack and respond to the customer via email, letting them know that a human has been notified. The second part is when a ticket's status has been changed to solved. We then go into our create question and answer pair and update our Pinecone vector database. And this is where the magic happens. We're in our create question answer pair and update Pinecone flow module. And we get the ticket ID. What then comes in is we're gonna get all of the ticket comments and we're gonna evaluate them. And in our create with AI block, we're gonna take the given comments from the Zendesk ticket, and we're gonna create a question and answer pair that we can then put into our vector database. Then followed up, we're gonna to go to our update Pinecone database, 
And this is going to take that question and answer pair. It's going to add a date and it's going to create the embedding using OpenAI's embeddings API and update the vector database. The power of this approach is that we're not just doing keyword matching. We're using AI embeddings to understand the semantic meaning of questions. So similar questions will match even if they're worded differently. This recursive agentic learning pattern can transform your customer service operations by creating a continuous cycle of improvement. Every Zendesk interaction becomes training data that makes your AI smarter, reducing the workload on your team over time while maintaining quality responses. Let's take that a step further. What other agentic workflows could benefit from having a recursive learning algorithm like this? Everything you saw here today is in our public workspace. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. Don't forget to join the conversation in our Discord server or in our community forum. Links are in the description down below. And if you like this, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more AI and API content. Thanks for watching.